EasyTools 2.0 is an IP camera discovery tool made by Uniview. You can use it to find IP cameras on your network and quickly configure them. EasyTools 2.0 also has a variety of different features, which I'll be covering in depth in this video. You can download the tool from our website by visiting xlrsecurity.com support. You can also download the tool on Uniview's website under support, download center, maintenance tools. When you first open EasyTools 2.0, you will see a list of security cameras in your network. By ticking the boxes on the top left, you can filter between IP cameras, NVRs, Uniview display controllers, and third-party cameras. By clicking the search setup icon at the top, you can adjust the list of details displayed for each device, such as firmware version, MAC address, and serial number. At the top right, there's an option to change the language. After changing the language, you will need to reopen the software for it to take effect. There's also a small question mark icon at the top right, which allows you to quickly open the user manual for EasyTools 2.0. There's also an option to view the current software version and check for updates. EasyTools 2.0 is organized into seven separate menus along the left side. Each menu allows you to perform a different function, such as configuring the camera's network settings, upgrading their firmware, or adding them to the NVR. First, we have the basic configuration menu, which is the first menu selected when you open EasyTools. Here, we have the option to change a camera's password, modify its IP address, and change the basic settings of the camera. To modify a camera's basic configuration, you will need to log in with a username and password first. This can be done by selecting a device from the menu, clicking Login, entering the password and clicking OK. Once the status shows login succeeded, you can modify any of the settings on this camera. Clicking basic configuration will bring you to a list of camera settings that you can change in the basic configuration menu. Here we have device name, time, daily savings time, and more network settings, such as network IP address, DNS, and ports. You can also export a list of the device's information into a .csv file, which is handy if you are managing multiple sites. Select the devices for which you'd like to save their information, click Export, and choose a folder to save the file to. Here is an example of how that .csv file would look when opened with Excel. After basic configuration, we have the advanced configuration menu. Here, we can select a camera to see its settings such as live view and adjust various image settings. And if you double click on the camera's live view, you will have it in full screen. We also have options for changing the resolution and encoding settings for the camera, modifying the on-screen display settings for the camera, enable the camera's built-in microphone, adjust motion detection settings, and enable the intelligence server for Uniview license plate recognition cameras. This advanced configuration menu is especially helpful when installing cameras, allowing you to quickly preview and adjust the angle for each camera. If you accidentally installed a camera upside down, you can use the image rotation setting to flip it back to normal. Next, we have the upgrade menu. This is where you can perform a firmware upgrade on Uniview NVRs and cameras. Choosing local upgrade allows you to select a firmware on your computer, while online upgrade will automatically download the latest firmware from the cloud. The maintenance menu allows you to restart your devices or restore them to factory default settings. You can also export diagnostic information, which can be used by Uniview to troubleshoot issues with your equipment. You can also import and export configuration settings for your camera. This allows you to save your preferred settings and use them on a different camera. The NVR menu allows you to quickly add a bunch of IP cameras to an NVR. On the left side, you will see a list of IP cameras divided into two sections, online and offline. On the right side, there is a list of NVRs on your network. 
If you don't see anything here, you may need to log in to the recorder through Easy Tools first from the basic configuration menu. To add the cameras to the NVR, simply select them on the left side by checking the boxes. Then select the NVR on the right side and click Import. After a few seconds, the cameras will be added to the NVR and showing online through the web interface. After the NVR menu, we can find the calculation menu. In this menu, you can calculate how long your NVR can record for based on how many hard drives and cameras you have. For example, if we add six 4 megapixel Uniview cameras with H.265 video compression, we see that a two terabyte hard drive will record for approximately six days. This calculation is based on a daily recording time of 24 hours, which means continuous recording. If we set this to six hours, which assumes that we set the cameras to motion recording only, then we can see the total increase in recording time to 27 days. You can also calculate the number of disks needed to reach a certain retention time. Let's say instead of 27 days, we wanted to store this footage for 90 days. How many hard drives do we need? First, we set the retention time to 90 days and the daily recording time to 6 hours to approximate motion recording. Then, we set the disk capacity. Currently, it's set to 2 terabytes, and the result shows that we need 4 times 2 terabyte hard drives in order to record for 90 days. If we change this to an 8 terabyte hard drive, then we only need 1. You can also simulate the RAID mode with this calculator. For example, in RAID 1, we need two hard drives because one of them is acting as redundant storage. In RAID 5, we need three drives, and in RAID 6, we need four drives in order to achieve the same recording retention time. At the very bottom left corner, we have the App Center. From the App Center, you can download other Uniview softwares, such as Easy Station and Easy Player. You can also find a QR code to quickly download Easy Live and Easy View apps onto your smartphone. There is also a brief description of each software that shows up when you click each icon. This concludes our overview of Easy Tools 2.0. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.